reported from an undisclosed location somewhere in the Ozarks. It's the Michael Wolf Show. On today's episode, Michael Wolf builds a contemporary and very unique steel table. And now, here's your host, Michael Wolf. friends. Uh, this is Michael Wolf. I'm out in the shop. It's Friday afternoon, February 9th. I am building a table this afternoon. Uh, this piece, I, I don't really even know where I came up with the idea. I had, uh, this is inch and three quarter round tubing, eighth inch wall. And this goes back to when Jimmy and I were living in Tulsa. I, I just, I wanted to build a table and make it out of round tubing, and I wanted to use our JD Square bender. And I had this piece of tubing, and I don't even know that it was a specific length or anything, but I wanted to bend this up and see how close I could get to coming right back and make it beaten perfectly. And it was just an exercise of, you know, learning how to how, where to start my bins. And so apparently I was pretty successful because it came around and met like that. So, uh, and I never welded it and I just stuck it back in the corner and Jimmy's like, why did you do that? And I said, I don't know because I just wanted to see if I could. And I knew I was going to make a table out of it someday. So I have an idea and I'm going to work on my table and you'll see it put to good use in uh, the very near future. So I'm going to put this uh, on time lapse and uh, we're going to make a table. So guys, thank you for tuning in and I hope these videos are enjoyable. And remember, like, comment, share, uh, or subscribe and stay tuned for more great content. So, as you can see, I have my uh, framework clamped down, and it, while I was doing this, I was uh, considering the fact that for as long as I remember, I have never been able to fully clean this welding table off, and that's on my to-do list. And I will prove it to you guys on my next video. This welding table will be clean. Jimmy always fussed at me for it, but then he would turn around and bring stuff over and leave on my table, which I think it was just his way of tormenting me. Anyway, back to business. Um, it's all clamped down. I use a piece of three inch angle just to pull everything, uh, get this joint straight. Of course, you know, it's straight this way because it's on the on the table and that table's true. Uh, and I wanted to point out that I leave, I had to pry it apart a little bit and work with it, but I left an eighth inch gap. And that's gonna allow me just to uh, run the weld right down in there. It, um, it'll be less grinding. And this piece isn't, um, you know, like a structural piece. You know, not like it's gonna hold a lot of weight. So uh, by the time I weld it, it'll never come loose. and hopefully with minimal grinding. Okay, that's it for this little segment, and my next step is the weld. that 
that joint and turned out pretty good. Um, I have to say that at age 48 and now that I wear bifocals, it is getting harder to weld. Um, I never knew, knew what my dad was really talking about when I grew up and I started doing the welding for him in his body shop when I was a teenager and he said it will get harder and of course I didn't believe him. Well, now I do. But anyway, I'm okay with that joint. It looks good for, and it's gonna hold for what it's gonna do. So I'll see you on the next segment. I just wanted to quickly point out that I was using my Miller 140 amp welder. It's, I keep it loaded with 0 0.0240 wire. As you can see, I'm about out. I like using that wire, of course, on all my sheet metal jobs, and it uh, usually I don't have to do a lot of grinding. Now my larger welder, my Miller 212, I keep 035 wire in it, and that spits out a lot of wire, and you know, you just be prepared, because if you want it to lay flat, uh, you gotta run it real hot, and um, even at that, there'll be a little bit more grinding if you're looking for getting a perfectly smooth uh, appearance. Uh, but both welders are good welders and I've had them for a long time. Never had a problem with them. I'm running an Argon CO2 mix in both of them. So that's just my little segment on my welders. friends um, it is about seven Friday evening and I didn't well no I was gonna say I didn't get as much done as I wanted to but I'm gonna let myself off the hook a little bit easier than that I think I did all right uh, I went in and had like a late lunch and then I went for a walk with my sister and her dogs and then I had a, a friend just stop by for a few minutes so uh, I have gotten stuff done this afternoon um, anyway, so the, of course, the round tubing is the top of the table, okay? Uh, the square tubing is the bottom, and I had to make lemonade, you know, as the saying goes, uh, you know, if, if you have a lemon, make lemonade, but my saw wouldn't cut the angle that I needed. This is, this is the, the, uh, the, the smallest angle I could cut, and I, I needed more. Uh, so anyway, I had to go back in and make a couple pieces to fill this, but that's okay because I actually didn't want a really sharp point right here and because I, I would be afraid I would just run into it with my ankle all the time. So by the time I weld this and then buff this down, it'll have a, a nice little rounded appearance. Uh, and of course, this is going to have casters under it too, so I can move my table around. But I'm not ready to tell you what I'm going to use it for yet, but you guys will see it almost every video. Uh, anyway, well, I'm going to wrap it up for the evening, and then tomorrow I'm going to uh, see how far I get along on this. Have a good one. Until next time. Hello, friends. This is Micah. I'm on day two of my uh, table project. I have spent... Most of the day, it's, uh, well, let me back up. It's like about four this afternoon. So I spent most of the day cutting out parts for this. It's gonna be really strange. Um, like, I'm sure you guys are looking at it from the screen being like, what in the world is this gal making? Well, I'm making a really funky table. So anyway, parts are cut. Uh, there's, there's three more pieces that I'll have to make but uh, I, I gotta get 
I gotta get the stuff that's on the floor put together before I can make those last three pieces. So that's what's going on. Can you believe it? This is gonna be short and sweet, about a minute long. Usually I'm long-winded. Okay guys, see you on the next break. started putting this assembly together all the little pieces and I have to say I kind of dig it yeah this is just I'm kind of anxious to see how this looks it's gonna be a real funky table or bench or counter whatever you want to call it anyway I just wanted to take a break I have it all tacked in place so I'm gonna go ahead and weld her up, and then go to the next step. Good morning, friends. Uh, this is Micah. And I'm back out in the shop. It's Sunday morning. I think I did a video when I quit yesterday. Uh, or I think it was around 7. So I got in the shop this morning, built a fire, because it's a little cool in here. And I finished welding up the bottom of the table. So, uh, you know, the, the welds laid in there pretty nice. Now these, these plates right here, a uh, caster. I have some casters I took off a a workbench um, that I'm not going to use so it'll be perfect for this less money going into this project since I had them in stock uh, but yeah it's I'm real happy with it I'm gonna go ahead and even though it's on the bottom before I flip it over I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of buff down that weld just a little bit I don't know why because I guess I have OCD so anyway um, yeah, I'll uh, just hang out and wait for the next update. Well, I'm gonna wrap it up for the evening. But as you can see, I have a lot of the table finished now. So I'm really happy with it. It's very unique. I don't really honestly know what gave me the idea of building a triangle table, but I like it. So we're gonna go with it, okay? I have a little bit more things to do, obviously. I need to put a top on it. The top is gonna to have a logo cut in it. So I'm gonna make the, I have some, uh, 3 16 material outside. I couldn't bring it in because it's too wet and my forklift won't go out there in the wet ground. But anyway, when I get back from Starbirds next week, as long as the weather is nice, I'll get that material in. I'll make a logo and cut it out, get it welded on. I still need to do some drop downs here because there'll be a little bit of weight with that, with that uh, 3 16 Um I didn't finish what I was going to say. Uh, so there'll be actually there'll be stainless steel perforated metal that will go underneath the logo, and then I'm going to put a light in the center. So if I'm uh, sitting here and talking about what I did for the day, or maybe I have a guest on my Michael Wolf show, uh, or someone coming in, we're going to do some instructional videos or something, or someone telling stories. We're going to sit around this table and we're going to have a good time. So. I jokingly said on the last two videos, I said something about them. And 
actually, the more I think about it, I really like that. I like that idea. So far on my YouTube channel, you know, my brand's been Wolf Customs, and it's been about what I've been working on. But I'm going to expand that. And, you know, like uh, going to Starbirds this weekend, I'm going to interview other builders. I'm going to interview car owners and hopefully meet some interesting people and put some videos out there. You know, change the content up. So this is actually just a prop. It'll be functional, but in my mind, I'm going to have a logo back here behind me. And yeah, we're going to have a good time. Hopefully I'll, I'll make it funny and maybe have a little bit of satire along the way. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to call it quits for the night. It's uh, getting cold out here in the shop and I'm ready to take a hot shower and crash. I won't be working on this anymore until I get back from Starbirds next week. So with that being said, I want to thank you sincerely for watching my videos. I couldn't grow this channel without you. So thank you and give yourself a hug because hugs are free. So guys, have a great evening and I'll see you on the next video.